Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, from this morning's round of snow, just uh, light accumulations, mainly on grassy surfaces, the exception of the Northwest Hills, where we had a little coating on area roadways. And now the uh, snow has shifted into eastern Connecticut. What's left of it, at least, as we look at early warning pinpoint Doppler, resumed into the quiet corner here. So snow exiting the 91 quarter, moving over 84 from Vernon through Tolland, also around Bolton and Andover. But notice in the co last couple frames of this animation, shrinking in coverage and those dark shades of blue are going away. So really, this, this light snow is diminishing as it heads toward the 395 quarter as we head into a southeastern Connecticut as well. More of the same, just scattered areas of light snow. And uh, with the exception of some flurries as we head through the afternoon, we should see some partial clearing get underway. Uh, so we'll see some sunshine before the day is over. Temperatures right now inland 30 to 35, mid to upper 30s currently along the 95 quarter. 35 happens to be our average high for this time of year, but temperatures will climb to near 40 in many spots this afternoon as we see some rays of sunshine. And we do have a south southwesterly wind, nothing too terribly strong around 5 to 10 miles an hour, but enough to add an extra chill to the air, feeling more like the mid and upper 20s in many communities inland and even for some along the Connecticut shoreline. So our eye can view from New Haven showing the extensive cloud cover there. Um, a few flurries there off uh, along the horizon and our view from uh, New London showing the overcast skies as well. Uh, can't rule out a few uh, flakes flying there as well. And uh, from Hartford, uh, things are basically beginning to dry out a bit and we'll see some of those breaks in the clouds here pretty soon as we head through the next couple of hours. So uh, this little disturbance pivoting through the region, taking with it the snow as we head through the afternoon. But looking at the big picture as this one system, a weak one departs, we've got another one. Doesn't really look like much at all right now. An area of low pressure through the lower Mississippi River Valley. That's going to take a track across the mid-Atlantic and then develop into a coastal storm uh, late tomorrow into uh, tomorrow night. But looks like it's going to pass far enough offshore that it's going to be a little um, issue for us here in southern New England. So here's how it all looks on Futurecast. Tomorrow's weather today uh, at noon today. Again, the general trend will be for snow to wind down for the clouds to begin breaking up. Once we get past sunset, cl sunset clearing re really takes place in earnest and then overnight mainly clear. Tomorrow we'll start off with plentiful sunshine uh, and then as the day progresses clouds will be on the increase but as we head towards say tomorrow evening uh, the storm again develops the center of it still stays offshore but close enough that we could brush southern New England with a little wintry mix or some snow. This is uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. It's going to be quick hitting and again a minimal impact for us at least as we see it now uh, by five o'clock uh, Wednesday morning. It's done. It's over with clearing taking place thereafter. So future cast uh, indicating maybe a coating, maybe an inch in some spots across the state. But again, nothing that's going to have too big of an impact. Uh, may have a, a little, few slick spots by early Wednesday morning. Uh, but Wednesday morning, the snow, the precipitation is going to be done and over. So we'll see sunshine. I uh, can't rule out a rain or snow shower by Wednesday afternoon. Then Thursday, it's going to be bright but cold and windy. Highs may not get above freezing in some spots. You factor in that wind on Thursday. Thursday wind chill values in the teens and 20s. Then Friday, maybe a late day rain or snow shower, otherwise becoming mostly cloudy. And then Saturday, more clouds and sun. Uh, a chance for a, a, a shower. The best chance, though, for uh, some steady and soaking and maybe even heavier rain comes Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, uh, we do expect some clearing to take place. But look at those temperatures for this weekend. We trend much milder, mid 50s on Saturday, about 10 degrees cooler on Sunday, but still well above the average high, uh, which is in the mid 30s for this time of year.